There are no mistakes, only happy little accidents. Yes, that is true. Uh, that's a Bob Ross quote. So, where might this blast Double be? Careful. I'm sure all manner of stupid mousetraps await our toes in the dark. Oh my god, it's been so oh, long, please. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> I'm going to assume I already looked at those, right? Something up this way, then? But I must have missed it because I'm not carrying it, right? I am not carrying it, right? Energy cells? Realist life support. I'm definitely not carrying any Jenny flask. Hmm, maybe I should try talking to these. About a certain genie. You've returned half elf. Is there something else that you require of us? Um, I search for flask in order to free genie. Have you seen such a thing? Such a thing? Yeah, English. Uh, I'm good at English. You're very noble to risk your own safety to free the genie. We have the flask and shall give it to you. Oh, that was... uh. Easier than expected. So let's put it that way. Yes. Are we still hasted? We are not. Let's uh, remedy that real quick. Something you need. And then... Wait, where's the... There. Onward then. That's the place to go. Good. Can you please cast the spell I told you to cast? Thank you very much. And then we go through there. Let's uh, draw the cheeky safe. There shouldn't be any traps around. Wait, why is Minsk not I something you need, as you will. Why is there a goblin? Well a goblin wasn't quite Take the Accurate. She gave. If I have to fight to get out of here, so be it. Of course. If memory serves. Hey, ammo mule, pick up that ammo, please. Something you need. Um. Let's try that again. Thank you. Now everyone's hasted. I wouldn't hastened? Hasted? I think it's hastened, right? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Am I still not leveled up? Nope. Must gather your party before venturing forth. Uh, that's the genie thing, I think. Wait, why are we fatigued? Is that a is that a side effect of the haste spell? Might just be. Even though it doesn't list it. So... I should remember to mute before resting when all the spell effects wear off. Because that sound is just as annoying as it was in the last game. Um, so why can't I talk to that guy? Okay. I can. I sense that you have the flask. Let us make the exchange. At last I'm free. Here's your item, Fleshling. You're an, hor an honorable person. And I feel that I must warn you, keep away from the master. Sort of chaos plus two. Hmm. He will torture you for escaping and kill you for freeing a genie slave. Escape from his lair quickly if you value your life. Value, value your life. 
That's not really a tongue twister, is it? Farewell. And I still haven't leveled up. That's, that's not nice. Out of chaos. Each hit drains one point from the tongue and transfers it to the wielder. This will not heal beyond the wielder's maximum. Two-handed sword. Not usable by cleric, druid, mage, monk, shaman, thief, cleric, ranger, fighter, druid, fighter, cleric. I mean, you can use it, right? Yes. Let's just put it there. Because I don't have another slot. Wait, that defaults? If I tell him to use melee, that defaults to the second slot? No, that defaults... Why does that default to that sword and not the other? Oh, that is annoying as fuck. In other words... I actually need to get rid of this. That's annoying. Anyway, uh, let's go back real quick. Of course. Now it hit everyone at the same time. The first time. So no idea what's up with the last one. Uh, and I back through the portal, please. Refusing. Do, 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 do. I guess we can get out of this horrible place now, right? I must bring the acorns to the Fairy Queen. Oh, that's where I got the acorns. Okay. Currently located in an area called the Windspear Hills. Well, I will do that. I'm a nice person. Sometimes. Something you need. Again, slightly salty that it's oh, a teleport yes. portal and not a teleporter. Man, just for this, you should always have someone with a haste spell prepared. What the fuck are you guys doing? Okay, I'm actually curious where they will go. Nowhere. Cool. And oh my god, I'm the only one that went the right way and now haste has worn off. Oh god. Classic. Well, I will take the opportunity to have a sip of my tea. Cheers. You know, I'm not at the level of like Japanese tea rituals or anything, but I don't know. A tea is still my feel good drink that I take time to prepare. I don't drink all the time. And it just. Feels good to have a nice warm cup of tea. Hmm. And now we can go out. The tunnel slopes upward into the welcome glare of daylight. Such is your relief that you barely notice the debris at your feet. The remnants of a battle fought only moments before. Surveying the carnage, you hear a scream of rage, and a massive explosion collapses the passage behind you. The sounds of combat greet you as you struggle to your feet. The fight, it seems, is still going strong. Dun dun dun! Oh, dumb question. Let me check that, actually. Sound? Uh, app volume? Are you kidding me, Windows? 
Okay. I realized why Baldur's Gate sound is so low all the time. It was at 60 you in the Windows Mixer. Me here. Do you even know who you are? So yes, I can change the volume in Windows Mixer. So, Godchild, you have escaped. You are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing, do you? I don't care what you're doing. Let us go! I won't let you leave, not when I'm so close to unlocking your power. We don't want anything from you. But I want something from you. I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. This is an unsanctioned use of magical... Oh, I remember. All involved will be held. This disturbance is over. Must I be interrupted at every turn? Enough of this. Hmm. This mage's power is immense. We must overcome him quickly. Enough. I haven't something, tried. something. Magic is not allowed in the city. Your something. Casting and come with us. Your pathetic magics are useless. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. You yes. You may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. You have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. Minsk and Boo stand ready. It's a bit unfair that Imwin didn't get any of that experience, isn't it? Just saying. No, this cannot be. The murder of dinner here. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Oh. The clone reminded me of his girlfriend slash wife, right? But she's dead. He killed her. I mean, that doesn't mean he wasn't cloning her, I guess. The murder of Dinah here. I, I'm going to make a point of pronouncing that differently every time. Flees from right here's butt kicking vengeance, and he takes Imwen with him too. Something must be done, change later. We must find this evil wizard. All that is goodness cries out for this. Even little Boo, although he cannot quite cry out so loudly. I find it odd that this Iranicus would leave of his own volition. I mean, it wasn't really of his own volition because the mage was correct, right? If they have uh, virtually infinite reinforcements, they will overpower him sooner or later because at some point, even the mightiest mage will run, run out of spells, right? So, yeah. And why take Imwen when it is changed later? is obviously interested and perhaps expect us to give chase. I mean, Imwen is... Isn't she also? A child of Baal? Not true. We must step carefully then. We know little about him, whom he was fighting, who took him, or even where we are. We seem to be drawn to machinations not of our own making. No! We must go quickly and save our friend Imwen. The wizard may be leering over her evilly even now. <laughs> Do not be foolish, Minsk. We must know our enemies and the extent of our danger here before we rush into anything. The druid is right, my large friend. The wizard obviously has great power and I doubt we have seen the last of him. Perhaps we should see if allies can be found here. So I don't quite remember. What's your deal? Uh, oh, there. True neutral. Well, I guess you two will get along nicely. Um, you're chaotic good. Interesting. Uh, to hit reduce by one. Additional pre-spells. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're a ranger, right? Something, something? Yeah. What do we do here? Bless! You can be our bless bot now. Level 3 and 4 spells. Oh, I get level 4 spells now. Or do I already have them? No. Level 4 is... new, I think. 
Yes. No, that's level two book. I can. No, I. I cannot unlearn spells. Interesting. Blur. Invisibility, no alignment, luck. Melf's asset arrow. Probably bring that for single target damage. Level 3. Clairvoyance. Hmm. Wait a second. Does that reveal the map? Let's see if that's anything that I really want, otherwise I'm going to take clairvoyance. I create several small globes of fire, one for each experience level the wizard has obtained, which are held in the wizard's hand and placed with usual weapons. Meteors can be hurled at targets up to 70 feet away, holy shit! Plus 5 bonus to attack rolls. One d4 plus three physical and three fire damage. The wizard may hurl up to five missiles. Holy shit! So I get nine stones and can throw them in two rounds. So basically, this this holy shit that spell does one d4 plus six per level, but I have to hit with a ranged attack. That's the, the drawback, I suppose. Minor spell deflection. What's non-detection? Wizard makes the creature touch undetectable. Wait, clairvoyance? Clairvoyance cannot reveal creatures. How? What? How can I make a creature undetectable by clairvoyance when clairvoyance doesn't detect creatures? Question mark? Protection from normal missiles. Hmm. Remove magic. Combat version of dispel magic will only affect opponents. Oh yeah, that's a misconception I had when I replayed the first game. But I thought I could dispel enemies with dispel magic, but remove magic sounds good, right? It's like breach, but more general, I guess? Bull trap. Oh yeah, that's the fireball thingy. Fireball trap, basically. Slow. Spell thrust. When the spells cast a target creature, it will dispel all of the spell protections, fifth level and lower. Hmm. Quick touch. Does cast. Uh, range touch. Target lose 1d6 hit points for every two cast levels. But I need to hit it, right? No, when the spell is cast, I don't need to make it mm, a ranged attack, and uh, a melee attack, apparently. Do -do -do -do, and it's leech, basically. Oh! Temporary additional hit points. Hmm. May not be cast multiple times to radically increase the cast's hit points. The caster must wait for the first Vampiric Touch spell to run this course before casting another. Interesting. I guess that is... Well, this is still AD&D, right? Second edition, with some things backboarded from third edition. So, I, I guess the rule that you can only have one source of temporary hit points active, and if you gain another, you have to choose between the two is younger than this game. So they're like, yeah, you can't Vampiric Touch again until the hit points are gone. When this spell is cast, the wizard and all of his gear become insubstantial. The cast is subject only to magicals or special attacks, including those by weapons, off plus one or better enchantments. Or by creatures otherwise able to affect those struck only by magical weapons. 25 resistance to magical damage. Cannot cast either arcane or divine spells. Wait, is that... Does that mean mage and priest spells, or are those subcategories of those? I, I think you can't cast at all, right? Also, otherwise, that would just literally be better than this, but this lasts an hour. 
range touch. I could give that to other people. Anyway, I will just do this. Just because it's really, really dumb if it really uh, reveals the entire map. Confusion. Contagion. Major disease and weakness. Strength, dex, charisma reduced by two and slowed. Huh. Enchanted weapon. When the spells cast on a creature, it enchants any weapons that it currently wields. For the duration of the spell, those weapons are treated to saving plus three enchantment. And that could be situationally useful when I meet someone with high magic res resistance, right? Sorry. In Farsight's cast, the cast is able to view an area of an unexplored map. After casting the spell, simply click on the section of the map that you want to view. Hmm. Fire shield, cold damage, fire damage. Also protects from attacks. Opponent that hits the castle with any weapons or spells within this radius surface 1d8 plus 2 fire and cold damage. Hmm. Noise, but that's cast. I can't do that on my front line. Greater Melison. The spell allows the cast to adversely affect all the saving throws. Ice Storm. Ah. Ah. Interesting. But that's a persistent effect, so that hits my uh, party too. Minor Glow of Invulnerability. A faintly shimmery magical sphere around the caster. That prevents any first, second, and third level spells from penetrating. Mm -hmm. Any type of spell can be cast out of the magical sphere, and these pass from the cast of the globe to their subject without affecting the globe. Minor sequencer allows a wizard to store two spells and activate them both at the same time from his special ability button. Those, both spells must be of second level or lower. To create a sequencer, a mage must memorize not only minor sequencer, but also the spells he intends to store. Those rock can store spells of any level for which it's less spell slots. After casting minor sequence, the player will be prompted to choose the sequence spells from those he has memorized. Um, duration permanent. Does this mean it lasts through a rest? Let's see if Google can tell me that. Baldur's Gate 2 minor sequence. Uh, let's see if there's something on the wiki or something telling me if I can rest with it and so keep it. Because of yes, that's basically two free level two spells, right? Um, <clears throat> Mage can have a minor sequence and a spell sequence active at the same time, but kind of two minor sequences, not two spell sequences at the same time. Moreover, if the required range of a spell in the sequence isn't respected, said spell will fail. For example, if a mage trying to cast web followed by invisibility with the same minor sequence and target to the ground, only the web part will work. But if said mage targets themselves, the web effect will be sent on them and then they will turn invisible. Okay. It doesn't say anything about a rest. But it does say permanent, right? So should I just take this and see if it works? Hmm. Monster summoning two. Orty loose resilience fear. Global family force that encloses the subject creature if it fails to save as a spell. The resilience sphere will contain the subject for the duration, which is one turn. <laughs> Completely immune to all damage. In fact, the only method of removing this sphere is a successful dispel magic, which is kind of pointless because casting dispel magic takes a turn, and this is gone after a turn. Hence, the creature caught inside the globe is completely safe from all attacks, but at the same time completely unable to affect the outside world. So I can use this. Basically, it's a defensive spell, right? Either you um, put an enemy into the sphere that is dangerous, or you put an, a, an endangered party member into a sphere. Hmm. Volume of other. Permanently alters the form of the creature affected. Permanently? Holy shit! All physical attributes are changed to adhere to a new form. This specific version of the spell in that the recipient will be transformed into a squirrel unless the safest verification polymorph is made successfully. Transformation is instant permanent until dispel magic is cast. Holy shit. Um. All cloths and equipment that the target was wearing will mold into the new form. So I suppose if I 
chicken, uh, sorry, squirrel someone and then kill him, he won't drop loot. On the other hand, I'm also going to assume that most boss type enemies will simply be immune to the spell, right? Uh, was it able to assume the form of another creature? Uh, are there any of the new forms? Many times as he wishes. Natural attacks of the new form and maze weapons and others. Um, the mental attributes of the wizard remain the same. Physical attributes are obtained from the new form. Natural protections. Possible forms. Fee blind. Wields a magical halberd, plus one fire damage and strikes as a plus three weapon. Mustard jelly, capable of poisoning or slowing opponents if they fail a safe war versus death when hit. Ogre, capable of causing massive damage. Spider, causes poison damage when it hits an opponent. In addition, the caster may choose the form of brown bear, black bear, or wolf. That sounds useful, right? Oh! I'm an idiot. A turn is different from a round. One turn. Okay. Yeah, that was me forgetting the terminology. W one turn is 10 rounds is 10 times 6 seconds. So that would right now be 27, 37 level, uh, rounds. 37 rounds. Or 3 turns, 7 rounds. That's not too bad, honestly. Remove curse. I probably need that at some point. Look at word. Will dispel one spell protection of 8th level or lower? Spider spawn. The wizard must throw several spider eggs into the air. Oh yeah! Spell reagents are not a thing in this game, but are in D&D, technically. The eggs morph into a fully grown spider that will remain under the wizard's telepathic control. When this spell is cast, there's a 20% chance that two spiders of the proper type will appear. Hmm. Spirit armor. Two hours. To appear a barrier around the target's body. The armor class will be set to one. Cool. There's a danger, however, as when the spell runs out, the external portion of the spirit is temporarily lost, inflicting 24 points of damage upon the target unless the creature makes a saving throw of a spell. That's useful. Stoneskin caster. Um, outer skin of stone will move up from the ground, completely covering him. The skin is, of course, magical and will hinder the wizard in no way. The effect of this is to protect the wizard from physical attacks such as melee weapons and projectiles. For every two levels of the cast, additional skin is gained upon casting. A 10th level wizard would receive 5 skins, while a 20th level wizard would, would receive 10. For each skin the wizard possesses, the spell will stop one attack. Ooh. It's important to note that this will not protect the wizard from any magical attacks such as fireball. That sounds incredibly good. Teleport field. The wizard instigates a teleportation effect that randomly teleports all enemies in this area for the duration of the spell. From a video game standpoint, that doesn't seem to be doing much, right? Wizard eye. A visible sensory organ that sends with visual information. The wizard eye can see with normal vision up to 60 feet away in brightly lit areas. The wizard eye can travel in any direction as long as the spell lasts, which is one round per level. Salt barriers prevent the passage of wizard eye. The powers of the eye cannot be enhanced by other spells or item casts are subject to any gaze taken made by the eye. And display magic. I think I will take stone skin. <clears throat> Although this might actually be better than stone skin, right? Because full plate and shit. This will protect me for four attacks right now. The next level five. I think this is actually better. Uh, whatever. I am oh. ready, I think. 
Oh. Turns out, I can't really test the spell here because I already know the entire fucking map. Where in the bleeding blazes did you come from? I can hardly believe that the bleeding mage went crazy, dude. As if a guild war in the Scadler wasn't enough. You know where I am? What do you mean by guild war? Did you see what happened? Where are those men who took Imwen in that mage? Excuse me, I've got to get going. I think I recognize the place like I told you when we met. I think this is Earth Cutler, is that right? Is this the city of coin itself? Aye, totally is. And the fight between the wizard and those men, you saw the whole thing? Aye, the wizard was angry and a dragon blasted these men in black. Bleeding wizard killed them all and uh, took half the promenade too before he stopped. Promenade? Do you know who the men dressed in black were? Some men took him and went away, blah blah blah. Aye, this... Here be Joaquin's promenade, sent our trade and such in the city. You won't have to know who those men were. Nay, they were all in black and swarmed with their daggers about an hour ago. I thought there would be trouble, but I didn't think they would suffer the most. Um, Did you see everything that happened? Aye, the wizard was angry. Wait, I already had that. Some men took them away. Imwen, is that the girl? Aye, she was taken, don't know where to. Maybe it was the cowled ones come to rest and for all the magics and the like. Cowled ones, who are they? Ye aren't you here, aren't ye? Magic be forbidden in Earth Kettler. See, I remember that. The cowled wizards, methinks, keep control of all the mages. Unless, of course, ye have the permission of the cowled wizards to use your magic. Don't know how one to uh, go about getting such a thing, though. Oh, da, 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 da. Well, take care of yourself then. A good business to ye. These buildings. Yes, that person was assuredly correct. This is Athka. We are in the state of M. Can I go into options? No. I have no reason to doubt you. Are you far from the South Coast? Uh, you do not expect me to believe that you can tell that we're just a few buildings. I expect less. Of you with each utterance. I have said what I know and you can take it or leave it. Ask around and you will know I speak the truth. Regardless, we'll have to make sure we are out of sight for a while. I might know a few safe places here and there by the docks outside of town. Well, follow your lead. You seem to know a lot about this place. Maybe too much. If you're in such danger, perhaps we should leave. I would suggest the slums. There will be low profile work, especially at the Copper Colony. Someone might have heard of our capture or know where Imran is. Khalid, Sylvanas, let him hear my vow. If I must, I shall empty the city of all within to find his killer. So do I swear. Well, that was certainly morbid. Are you going to talk to him often? Find sentiment. I will aid as best as I can. We have other things to worry about. It is my want to do this, and I shall see that it is done properly. If you would assist, more the better. If not, be prepared to stand aside. So, the obvious thing I have to try, right, is cast some magic and see what happens, right? Trouble out of you. What do you need? I oh, I was hitting five to select him, but I only have four people now. By the way, did I get all of Imwin's stuff? I must apologize, but I can carry no more. Apparently, yes, because my fucking inventory is full. To the brim. Um, wait. Where's clairvoyance? Do I have to rest to get the, the new spells? In the name of the council, I am here to- You there, find in or leave the city. I have no vagrant sleeping on the streets. Oh, so much for sleeping. Um, then let's use a, uh... That I already know. Oh, look who's coming! Declare yourself! The practice of magic without license is forbidden in the city of Athkatla. You shall receive one warning only. Further spellcasting will result in your death. 
Let's see. Let's see if that is uh, correct. Hello? I just cast another spell. Hello? Hmm. They don't seem to care much. Apparently. Of course. So shall we pretend that I'm actually organized? Doc slums. She said to go to the slums, right? So I will go to the docks first, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, wait. Why is there an exit? Watch us keep. Destination unreachable. Watch us keep? Did that tell me something? Mm -hmm. So why is there an, an exit here? Oh... Zooming in with the mouse wheel closes the map. That's annoying as fuck. So I have to actually make my mouse wheel rest at. Um, where's there an exit here when there's only another district here and a district here? Why is there a southwestern exit? I guess I need to go there and check where it leads, right? I wouldn't dream. I can't not. I'm totally not stealing, by the way. The loom, the, the bookkeeper. Well, you Good business to you, my lord. I do not recognize you, I think. Would it be impertinent, impertinent for Hess to re inquire as to your name? Not at all. I'm changed later. Well, I change later. And appeal to you. Feel free to peruse my goods and ask questions, naturally. Perhaps you could tell me where I could find a suitable inn. I'm looking for quality goods, perhaps magical items. Could you direct me to a temple? I have little taste for magic, but sometimes an item of that nature comes to my possession. You could try the adventure... Adventure Mart <laughs> for such things. That sounds... For the wall breaking. So... Yeah, let's sell... A quest item. Basically, basically what it is, right? Oh no, the same dumb system is. Oh, first scroll of weakness ninety. Oh, I should have kept all the cursed things. I will keep the long sword and the quarter staff. Definitely the long sword around. Um, both. In before I realized that, um, uh, different vendors have different prices for various things. Which would be quite annoying. I would be interested in buying some plate mail but my funds are not good so i guess not for now but what i definitely do need is lots of fucking bullets okay So, unfortunately, um, if she's my bullets dude, and he's my- oh, I forgot to sell all his stuff. And he's my arrow dude. That is very unfortunate. Because... He is my stuff for sale dude. 
And I am the quest and shit dude. So basically... I am so out of out of space for stuff. Oh, I could sell all these. That's a lot of gold. Um, so this should have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. I could keep those, but honestly... Oh! I guess I have enough for some plate mails now, right? You get a plate mail, and you get a plate mail, and you can't do any of this, and you already have started. Okay, so you... get to keep some more arrows around. And you... Honestly, I am so not going to use all these, so whatever. And you can sell that. And you can sell that. Wait a second. Oh, that's the magical mill of the dead. Uh, three, one versus slashing, five versus crushing. Three, zero versus slashing. So this is flat out better, but... Of course, this is still useful for people that can't wear plates, right? Um, unfortunately, nobody else can wear this either. Um, yeah, let's keep this stuff around for now. Uh, this is for sale. And then let's grab some well, more bloody look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to ammo. Together. <laughs> sure, let's just steal it because why not? Medium shield. Armor class plus one. But I think she already has a medium shield, right? Yes. And he's not a friend of shield, so whatever. Cool. Welcome to my humble establishment. Ride all day, eh, sir? You be wanting to take Genda and me bookies and scrolls? Sure. Oh, yes. Um, and I guess I can just sell those, right? Not like I'm ever going to use them. The problem with this, of course, is that I'm now going to hoard all scrolls, <laughs> and then the scroll case will be full. Not like I'm speaking from experience or anything. Something me. Oh, yes! Store behind the store is small and sells only sundries, trinket, foodstuffs, or other goods of no real interest or value. That's an interesting way to not have to actually build the stuff that's not interesting anyway. I think I already looked at these, right? Yeah. Largo! That reminds me of Monkey Island 2. Just saying. The Largo Embargo. You be looking at my daughter place, boy. What brings you above your station, found a gold mine? Yes, I should be getting back to it, excuse me. Whatever do you mean, sir? Her of mine has been captured by the Cowl of Wisdom. Looking for where she's been kept prisoner. Looking for information on the Shadow Thieves. Look about you, an evil eye from every corner, unless you be loaded with coinage. Ah, I see it. The subtle exclusion of those born into wealth. Uh, you've got a good eye on you, old man. Do you belong here, then? I was kicked out of this place once or twice as a youth, before I found a vein of Mithril. Now the bastards fawn, fawn over me, but horribly, all the while eyeing my purse. Me purse. Beautiful tale. <laughs> the life of the Nouveau Ridge is a hard one. 
Aides, you're not rolling the coin boy, trying to play with the high rollers. No, but I suspect that I can afford a room. Yes, I am. They must treat me with respect now, the snoots. Good for ye. Don't let the busted bastards look down your crooked nose at you. What do you mean? Look about you. An evil eye from every... Oh, yeah, we already had that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, excuse me. My time is quick, so be There's an awful thing with that wizard. Look at the mess he's created in the promenade. They should simply collect all the wizards in Earthcat and shed them all back to they. Good thing I'm not a wizard and just a sorcerer, right? I don't know why the garrison doesn't simply ride into the slums and clean the place out. That's obviously where all this crime has been coming from. Obviously. I take no pleasure. Far too many beggars these days, race. The tax doesn't force them to work, I say. Oh, so many nice people around here. Why must the Zen always be crowded with uh, brainless debutantes? Have you seen Alicia? Who's Alicia? Alicia is the daughter of Baroness Palata. Palata? Pay later? Pay later! That's the new canon pronouncement. Pay later. Uh, see how she fawns of a Count Claylin? Bit annoying, is she? Don't know what you're talking about. It's foolish to even be speaking with that shark, Clayton. He has a nose for idiot girls. He will hire off her company within a week and leave her heart broken. The very same thing to me. Oh, that's where this is coming from. The man says wine. Leave me now. I need to arrange to have this wine mixed with the slob water. Stand where you're How dare you approach a debutante beggar? What is a debutante? Let's see what the dictionary has to say to that. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, hey, of course, that's a beginner, but that's not what this is, right? A girl or young woman regarded as being upper class and of a frivolous social set. Well, yeah. My father should have you flogged. I'll my flog you, bitch. Quick, so be... Why don't you stop by the manor tonight? I could show you my collection of sun... Sunlight's statuary. My parents would be delighted to come over. Thank you, Count. I don't see any reason to interrupt their plans. Why don't you come alone? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, giggity, giggity. If you would like, my lord. With the Countess away, you shall be most welcome if, at my manor. If you know what I mean. Good tidings to you, a young wayfarer. Welcome to the Mythwest Inn. How might I be of assistance? Uh, is there all of interest that you might tell me interesting goings on? Nothing of interest, sir. This is a quiet place and our customers prefer that way. Cool. Call me a list of services. Uh, peasant, sure, why not? Men are dressed when your party is scattered. Yeah, well, fuck you too, game. Treating me like the rest of my party is outside or something. Hello, Rebecca. I, hello, Rebecca. I should treat you to my charisma of 18. Welcome to the Mythos, sir. Please see Pugni if you wish to partake of the lavish splendors of the inn. Never had friends. No, sir. See? Those are functionally all the same, right? Pretty sure that's the case. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's interesting. I was... For the longest time, well, it turns out about eight months, right? I had no motivation whatsoever to play this game. And even today, when I thought of... Um, uh, continuing with it, I was like, uh, I don't know. And now that I'm back in, as you will, that's fun. Why didn't I do it earlier? How big do I want this to be? Like this ish? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just realized that I don't need this button anymore because there's now a keybind. But um, because the first game didn't have a select all characters button, 
I have a macro that does click the button for me, right? And since um, the executable is called the same baldo.exe, it works on this one too. Something you need. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Hello, Commoner. Good business to you, my lord. I don't recognize you. Are you new to Earth Kettler? Yes, I am. Ah, well, welcome to the city. Do you need assistance finding your way around? Yes, I'm trying to decent find decent inner tavern. Yes, I'm looking for a shop, magical equipment. You need assistance. If I need assistance, I'll find a compass. <laughs> uh, how wooed. I would never be wooed. Uh, commoner first. My daughter just got married to fisherman. I think she could have done far better. That is something I would obviously immediately tell a random stranger. Hey, who be you? You not be my wife, are you? <laughs> I don't want to see that bad legs tonight, eh? Okay. You, sir, should get a uh, divorce. Foolish thing if there really is a guild competing with the Shadow Thieves. Don't they know the Shadow Thieves almost around the city? Oh, that's what I wanted to ask Lur about and forgot. That sounds like quite a bit of speculation on your imagination's part, sir. Atello de Bonito. Hello there. Oh, Alatello. The Bonito. Hello, hello, welcome to, uh, what time is it? It's afternoon? Then welcome to the afternoon showing of the talents of Alitalo de Bonito. A rousing wave of indifference from the crowd yet again. Ah, oh, well. If I let such things bother me, I would have given up the stage years ago. As per the wishes of most of my audience, unfortunately. At least the occasional dwarf applauds. Well, it doesn't swear, swear and leave anyway. Hmm, let's see. A tale of familiar woe to tantalize your tears and tempt your time and interest. <coughs> Raced of spells and casting well, but always wanting better. To sing of nights and days of yore, to leave the robes that... That fetter. A wizard prone to song and prose, thought of accused. Thou oft accused of failing, I shall sing despite the odds. Will you shut your bloody wailing? Well finished, Mrs. Patricia. You have a fine year for Ryan, though. I would hope you'd be more supporting of your own employees. I support your sticking to spells and figures. Your security and a financial advisor, not the entertainment. Hit the road if you want a forum for your singing. Uh, very well, Mrs. Patricia. Thank you for your indulgence thus far. Hello there. I would regale you with a sense of daring, my lord, but I fear the room is a touch hostile towards majors that encroach into bardic territory. Is this important? Why, the weather has been might foxy lately, eh? No. No. Mm -hmm. Me and hitting the right place. Hello. Oh, lovely! Yet another member of the main species come to drink himself into a stupor, no doubt, and vomit upon me perfectly clean floors. Hmm. What be it exactly that you want? Why is this place called the Den of the Seven Veils? It served to draw you in, didn't it? Now don't be bothering me with useless questions. I'll only stand here so long and suffer your stench mail. I'm not a male. I'm a half-elf. You must hear things. Mind if I ask you a question or two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it all before. Human, elf, dwarf, you're all the same. Walking about with a swagger like you own the place and nary a brain to be found except what's twixt your legs. <laughs> so does he have an inclination to actually buy something? Or was he thinking instead of taking your mail attitude elsewhere? Oh. How boring. Something. Of course. Let's just quick save real quick in case there's any traps around here. Hmm. Oh, M. I remember M. Uh, M was down the Sword Coast, right? South of the Sword Coast and was at the brink of war with Baldur's Gate. If I remember correctly. In the name of the council, I am here to keep order. I'm not going to play drunk. I wouldn't dream of refusing. My timber's bad enough without ye bother on me. Well, 
you started the conversation. <clears throat> ah, why don't be a puny human dressed up as a mild little venture and say, ha ha, did your mama let you out from under the skirt, little one? Best you'll be running back now. Ha! <laughs> be a good jest, Minka, my friend. <laughs> a good jest, sir, Smelly. A good jest, she says. Smell of ox lister. Oh, that's... I get it. Smelly. Smell of smelly. Eamon, you tell your stinking fart smell in him to stop calling me smelly. The name be smell of ox slicer. He does say it again, I'll smash him into impish goo. Papa, Papa, smelly's threatening me again. He is threatening. I'm yourself, Pookie. It's for you, you barbarian knucklehead. Threaten my familiar once again and you'll spend the rest of the evening as a toad. Am I understood? What? You dare be smirched the honor of smell of ox slicer? I will... Enough blasted, I tell you if you're bickering. He should have turned him into a... into a... Um, what does he say? Did he say toad? He just should have turned him into a toad right now. Now, as for you, little human. I'm not a human. You best take yourself somewhere where you're more welcome. This bar be big enough only for us anymore. How about I buy you a drink? Uh, you can take your drink and shove it where the sun won't be shining, you blast little human. I'll never associate it with a quivering weakling in my own bar, so I'll be over with her. Ha, <laughs> you're so funny, Menka. Made of laughs heartily at your insulting manner. Really, Menka? Is all this necessary? Must you agitate everyone who comes to this bar? Brennan? Wait, where's Brennan? I don't see a Brennan. I blasted right, I must. We'll be celebrating, Brandon. I'll be damned if I'm going to drink while the odor of a young human offends me nostrils. Now be off, human, before he has a taste of me eggs. Fine. Off you go, you cur. Hang your tail twixt your legs and scurry off like the cowardly dog that you are. Oh, I I guess he wanted me to, uh, to be a dick about it. Oh, there's Brennan. <laughs> I need a swig or some strong... I'm not going to take this. Ale. You'll take whatever I have to give. Come, you friends. Let's see the world what it uh, be to cross Mankind's band. There I have it, yeah. Are you kidding me? To battle! Ah. <laughs> ah, ah. Ha-ha. Can I... Oh, I cannot because I am apparently uh, now confused. Great. Oh, she's also confused, so I can't be healed. I guess that's a reload. Of course. So let's just rob them without actually um, talking to them, shall we? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of refusing. I am ready, I think. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Lockpick failed? Lockpick failed? Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, yes. That's better. Lockpick failed. How bad are your lockpicking skills, mate? 65. Well, that's not that bad, I suppose. But apparently also not good enough. Something you need? Yes. Let's talk to Just other people, I guess. My friend. <sighs> Would apologize for my comrades, but they represent a great profit for me and my thief lead abilities. Would it be better if you left, I suppose, man, because I was serious with his threats. Threats. I mean. Uh, uh, be gone! The male of orc slicer, begorging himself mightily on meat and ale and cannot be bothered by talk. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> I stole some things from Smelly, I did. What? What did you steal from Smelly, devilish imp? Pookie stole Smelly's brains while he's sleeping. <laughs> Smelly won't miss him. Blast your imp. I shall grind you into powder if you continue these taunts. My name is Smelly. Uh, Smelly. 
This will be a slow. You best be on your way, as Minka suggests. I am Sorceress Aemon of the Purple Brotherhood, and I stand behind my dwarven comrade, and I am not to be treated lightly. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, fuck you guys. I got all your stuff anyway. Not that it was much, but. You know, on principle. Can't just. Uh. Have you keep your stuff right? 